All right, so I wanted to take a second to not really do like a review or anything, but just to put some video online uh, of the 1100M. Uh, I was looking for video prior to getting it, and there wasn't a whole lot out there aside from what Tormach themselves had put out. Uh, and they, they put out some cool stuff, I and mean, they had them cutting titanium and a few other things with the 770 and testing some insert mills and whatnot, but uh, there was nothing that really went over the new enclosure and all that in detail, so I figure I'll go ahead and just throw something up here real quick so that you can check it out. So, you can see this is the 1100M. It has uh, pretty much everything except the tool changer. It has a power draw bar. There's no coolant. It runs with just the fog buster by itself. Uh, but aside from that, it's pretty well optioned out. It's got the enclosure and the Tormox stand. Uh, Path Pilot is pretty much the same thing that you're used to. Uh, if you have any other Tormach machine. Uh, keyboard might be new. It looks a little different. It's got like this rubber uh, material on it. It's quite nice. The mouse as well. It's kind of covered in this thick rubber. Um, if we go into the enclosure, uh, you can see... But in the enclosure, uh, you can see it's all nice and new. Uh, it's got a very different design uh, than the older machines. The ATC panel in the back there is huge now. Uh, it's got a couple of holes with plugs in them that you can run stuff through if you need to. I got my Fogbuster line running through there. Uh, the Fogbuster itself still hooks up the same as it always has. Uh, the uh, the uh, spindle, the whole spindle cover, kind of behaves a little differently. It's got this latch on the side. Uh, I think that was there before, but now it opens straight up and down. So I can do that one-handed. Yeah, so now you can see the spindle door opens vertically uh, instead of you know, to the left. Uh, this one does have the power draw bar set up. Uh, looks to be very similar uh, to the older power draw bar setup. I don't really notice anything different. Uh, sticker, of course, is different. Uh, the doors are completely redesigned. You can see they have like these big, uh, pretty substantial linear rails uh, that they ride on. And it works pretty well. And then they have this little uh, latch here to kind of pull them together. And then if you give them like a little bit of a pinch, they'll kind of click together and then you can pop them. They'll kind of open up somewhat by themselves. Uh, so that's it. Down here, you can see the new uh, chip enclosure. So like the chip pan pops out just like that and kind of stores everything in there. If you had a coolant system, that's where the coolant pump would be. Uh, but that's nice. I mean, it glides real easy. Yeah, it's real nice. Easy to get your coolant out. Down there is the gauge that would show you uh, where your coolant level is if you need it. Now this, I don't know if you're supposed to mount that there or not. Uh, I just did because there were a couple of holes that looked like that's where you should put that. Uh, I also made a little extension for my cable. Uh, that's like little SPDIF looking thing that uh, you hook your probe up with. Uh, so let's just go around the side real quick. Ignore my destroyed garage. I'm still recovering from having installed the mill. Uh, but you can see over here is all the inputs and stuff, it's a main disconnect, two accessory inputs, uh, which does suck if you want to use a probe, that's what you need the extension cable for, walking around to the side to plug the probe in every time uh, is not fun, but this is the main ethernet, uh, which goes down into here, which is the main like control computer box. And you can see they give you, for the Path Pilot controller now, it's just like a little gigabyte, you know, micro ITX or whatever they call it, itty bitty PC like you'd use in a home theater setup or whatever. And it seems to be like super low spec too from what I can tell. Um, back here, I just have all the normal Fogbuster and you know, airline hookups and stuff like that. Uh, I can open up the electrical cabinet. I'm sure some people care what's in there. Let's try to give it a shot. This is, I don't know what any of this is except for that. I know that's those are the drivers. But that, that is what she looks like. It is a really clean setup. I gotta say, I mean, it at least looks like very 
kind of thoughtfully laid out. Um, I let it run all the time. I've mean, been cutting with it pretty much continuously since I got it a couple of weeks ago, uh, and it has worked uh, really well. So far, I haven't had any trouble at all. Um, I would say, if anything, I mean, it was probably a little bit difficult to get it up on the stand and, you know, all those things people complain about, but uh, all in all, I'd have to say it's it's worked out really well. One thing I'll say is a lot better than the old ones is the chip evacuation. I don't know if you can see if that's a very good shot, but you can see like all the way down the side, this whole trough throughout the whole center of the um, stand is where all the chips are able to evacuate out of, so you got a lot of room to uh, get stuff out of there if you need to. Yep, so that's it for now. I guess if you want to see anything specific or anything like that, just leave a comment. Thanks.